Hello, Dr. Sasha here. Welcome to Mount Holyoke in uh, Western Massachusetts between South Hadley and Hadley, Massachusetts uh, in the Connecticut River Valley, aka the Pioneer River Valley. Um, this is a place that's very near and dear to me. Um, I actually grew up uh, just up the river on the other side over there in a town called Hatfield, Northampton area. Um, and so I used to come out here quite a bit. Uh, I used to family used to take picnics. We used to meet up with our families, uh, picked it together up here. And then what the kids would do is we'd like go all around these little rock outcrops, scrambling around them. Um, you can see some of these are very easy to get up to and down, especially if you're, oh, uh, a few decades younger than myself, uh, shall I say. You can see all these just curious, beautiful patterns, the rocks here. Um, Show, um, if you look out, there's also some absolutely breathtaking views that we're going to be looking at. I'll probably pop over there and pause this recording in a moment when I get a chance to do that. But what is all this? Um, well, there's a couple things we should take a look at here. You can see these beautiful sort of very dark rocks of a very fine-grained uh, feature. That weather interesting that's clearly has a lot of red, indicating a high iron content. What could that be? What um, igneous rock is fine-grained and has a very high iron content and typically is very dark and also weathers very rapidly. If you said basalt, you would be perfectly correct. This is all a giant ridge of basalt um, extending, not just here, but actually extending across the river, meaning it's older than the Connecticut River, extending uh, e quite a bit further east as part of the uh, Holyoke Range and Metacomet Ridge. In fact, um, a little joke is, and it also affords a nice view of the uh, some of the other great mountain ranges of New England. Um, here, if you look off to our west, uh, patience here as I try not to trip on these uh, beautiful rocks here, you can see off to our west a uh, nice view toward the Berkshire Mountains. You can also see there's uh, quite a bit of weather coming our way. Now, the Berkshires are one of those relics from the assembly of uh, North America. I'm going to guess you're looking at the Taconic Orogeny here. And you can see a subduction zone and all the metamorphic rocks got forced very deep, um, deep down and then got exhumed by erosion over the intervening hundreds of millions of years uh, following the assembly of Pangaea. This feature here is actually quite a bit younger and it's igneous rock. It's relatively unaltered, has not undergone any major burial or other stuff. There is, I think, uh, some tilting. So remember that Pangaea over there was assembled by um, collisions of continents and collisions of continental fragments through subduction and stuff like that. But we also know that at some point Pangaea started to break apart. What you're looking at here is one of the great fissures that um, Extends here, you find them all up and down to Jersey, you find them in parts of Africa and parts of uh, Northwest Africa that formed and filled up and flooded the land with uh, basalt lavas as the Atlantic was finally beginning to break open and uh, form a new seaway, separate, uh, breaking apart Pangaea 200 million years ago. We call this camp. Central Atlantic Magmatic Province. And it was, um, and not only did this uh, extra layer of basalt kind of weaken the crust and allow it to kind of break up a little bit more easily and the heat connect with this rising uh, province potentially ease the breakup of Pangaea, but um, it also possibly contributed to some dramatic sh swings in climate, leading to some major extinctions at the end of the Triassic, and uh, yeah, left behind this legacy. So it's sort of funny, because a lot of people refer to this as New England's only east-west mountain range. And the reason is that most of the other mountain ranges 
form from collisions and form perpendicular to the direction of collisional motion. This range formed by uh, actually a little bit of divergent plate motion and through volcanism at a much younger age. And this is actually a major, this is a part of a much larger record of a major global event. So as you wander around here, I never knew this when I was hiding these little crevices, chasing bugs around and uh, trying to get got found by my friends. Um, but, huh, I was looking at the uh, wreckage of a breakup of a supercontinent and it's kind of amazing to check out and see and be a part of now and see what the, the highs I have as an older geologist and it's a joy for me to share this uh, place with you a little bit. So I'm going to take a couple pictures here and uh, we're going to uh, put that in there. All right. Thanks so much everyone.